Next up, we have Richard Downs. Richard is a poet and writes for Disability Arts Online. He says, I always wanted to write, I practiced for years. I played guitar and sang, and I took photographs. So please welcome Richard with a huge round of applause to share with us this evening. Right, I, uh, um, I'm going to try to do something I've never done. And I'm going to try to perform a poem from memory. I to write every week. I have hundreds of poems, and I've never remembered one. <clears throat> and two weeks ago, I went to Oxford, and um, I can show I reference Oxford three times. I reference a covered market. I reference a psychiatric hospital called Wanford, and I reference a small house where I learned how to speak. <clears throat> uh, so, <clears throat> this poem is called Speak. Covered market, hubbub and acoustics, clear the space to hear my speech. I am come from out of Warnford. <clears throat> Right out of a house that apple store. I'm not going to remember it. I'll read it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I have questions. But I cannot ask questions. But to let me take this time of yours. So please do not shun me with indifference. Hear my voice. Hear me implore. Talk of rights and speak of choice. An improved life, I'm wanting more. I'm wanting more than to once be heard, and then I'm wanting to never be ignored. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> right, all of the poems I read tonight. Uh, talk about associations. Uh, the association here is with the Eygate Society, where I run a monthly poetry group. Uh, each month we set ourselves a challenge, and our challenge this month is uh, is called uh, is called is called Beautiful Lies. Create fake news. And so I want to read to you that it's going to be a red Christmas. Santa's his selection is going to wear red in this coming election. These chocolate boxes will be under mm, mm, honest. These tough titty toffees were all once by. <laughs> Boris. <laughs> <laughs> but all Nick was advised by Nebuchadnezzar, your best advice to vote for Cheshire. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I need you to be more informed than this. Yes. <laughs> Cheshire, he's that guy also dressed in red, but he doesn't use chimneys or ride on the beds, but he's not ready to chocolate for a height or I told you pies. That was. Santa. No, it's Boris. Right, and it's blue Tory lies. So look to truth and get your facts straight. Christmas comes early and we've got a date. Watch out for fake news. Don't be outfoxed. Put your tick down in that receptive red box. <laughs> But I can hear lots of Tories in this room. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and so another association I have is with the Ornsey um, Town Hall, uh, which is a kind of building which is it's kind of falling down, and we fought to save it and lost. 
Right, however, in front of this town hall, there's a tree which was planted to celebrate an anniversary of the 50th year of the signing of the kind of Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Uh, right, Article 25 talks about everybody having a standard of living, including its says people want who were born out of wedlock. Right, I have another word for people who were born out of wedlock. Bastards. Thank you very much. I can you say it when I can't say it? Bastards. Right, if I have to stop stammering, yeah. okay. would you say? Yeah. Bastards. Okay. <laughs> this is called bastards. <laughs> The bastards set up rights for all little bastards that follow on behind, <laughs> shired by Boris and other philandering bastards of his kind. <laughs> Whilst we boys and girls who once paid tax now have to face up to some facts that our frittered wealth taken by austerity stealth just won't support our elders' elf. And if we wish to feed our kids who just don't know if it's some skits, we'll realise we have to thank those who patronise us at a bank, stalling out food and sometimes clothing. Yes, the bastards have left us with no robing. And so we have to lose our housing. There just can't be no disclosing what it will mean, this lack of care, that sees us face a bastard state with no welfare. Our social needs continue to go unmet. We won't be safe from winter's cold by Tory wets, who just don't understand the basic need for security, or the impact of policy on our equality, or what it means in this age to be waged by zero hours that just derange, cause great depression to our weary minds, and cause impairments of all kinds, and leave our kids with absent moms or dads, whilst the bastards strike deals and buy new fads, ignorant to suffering of our lasses and lads, born into a storm of bastards, bastard, bastards. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> uh, I consider myself a disabled activist. I used to, to be involved with the Disabled People's Direct Action Network. Uh, so that's where this association comes from. And it particularly looks at a friend, which some of us may remember, whose name I think was Andy Hardy. Oh. Andy Hardy. This is called Sick Man's Close and it's named after a road sign. His tongue looks pretty terrible as he hangs it out and lets it dribble. Whoever would have credited this activist for having soul, for having art, for being also artist. I knew him then, way back when, before all this fuss had started. He made his way, he did his best, he did not look downhearted. He read his books, he did his work, he played it by his <laughs> the book. He closed his heart, he closed his mind when abusers came to us. He dances round, he knows his sound, he moves to his own beat. He feels love, knows what it took to get out on the street. He paints some spikes, he pounds some ground, he looks to you and me. He learnt a song based on all things wrong, chanting equality. But he knew this, but he knew this girl would make his world could rise up from his tomb. He gave a smile, and sang a song, smashed his heart against some gloom. He took up dance, gave him a chance, he could be what he wants to be. And now he counts days amount to a time he's finally free. To a time we're finally free. I'm excited. I'm excited to say hello to Dennis, 
Tudod, a hérlend is film, és volt a member of the Disabled People's Direct Action Network. But I was standing, but I was standing in Trafalgar Square one day, and I'm not sure if I heard her say, proud Adrian Strong, but or if it was written, but on a badge. But I know. But I What I mean, what I know, what I know, three words, and these words came from tennis. And tennis gave three words as she offered pride and made me look deep down inside at this true word. I would. Deride. The next word, a cold and jangly, a point of view, sharp and angry, gave good reason to feel angry. Word number three, I couldn't run, I knew for well of being strong, this took easy from my tongue. A pride so true, a point of view, a hang of steams across many streams, a strength her force our righteous cause. Proud, angry, strong ran from her tongue. Strong, angry, proud, I heard it loud. So oh, now I will always be proud, strong, angry. Thank you very much. <laughs> and so the last association. I'm standing in a field in Cropredy, I'm listening to a group called The Water Boys, and I hear... Oh, okay, you're Water Boys fan? Great, excellent. Uh, and I just like... So the way some words came over, and I thought to myself, for well, which I could write like that. Let's find out if I can. This one for all of you activists here is called Marcher. But so, I've gone too far, I'm going on a march, stand up for my people, sit in front of cars, or turn too strong about when we hit the street again, stand up for our, stand up for our rights, and get with our friends, right and wrong together, it's the only thing to do. The system never listens, just wants to shit on you. <laughs> Tell them what is wrong, what we are standing for, speaking up forever, we will change our laws, we will change our planet, we will improve our lives, we will bring smiles and laughter to those of those who have survived. This one's for our marchers, a fight we always fought. This one's for our dreamers, our schemes are not for naught. We're speaking for a change, a brand new world of being. I have heard voices, the future I am seeing, the future I am seeing of a new society. This one's for... The better it will set all people free. Thank you. Yay.